Have you ever wondered about the impact of propaganda and the resurgence of controversial ideologies in today's world? Let's dive into a recent example that has been making headlines. The Kremlin has criticized a European tour by Ukraine's third assault brigade, which includes members of the Azov Regiment, labeling it a neo-Nazi PR campaign. Kremlin spokesperson Dmitry Peskov ultimately denounced the tour as a repulsive spectacle and an unseemly exhibition of the Ukrainian regime. The third assault brigade, established in early 2023 and headed by Ukrainian nationalist and white supremacist Andrei Beletsky, has been making stops in various European cities to share their experiences and first-hand accounts from the battlefront. The brigade aims to inspire greater engagement and assistance for Ukraine in its struggle against Russia. Uh, however, uh, the tour has uh, faced backlash from local political figures and organizations. Uh, concerns have been raised uh, that the true purpose of the event might be to encourage Ukrainian citizens to leave their current locations and participate in the ongoing conflict. Uh, the Leaf Bar Rotterdam Party in the Netherlands, for instance, labeled the assembly as undesirable and emphasized that there are alternative ways to acquire war updates. Uh, they also highlighted the event's uh, lack of political neutrality. Uh, in response to unfavorable media coverage, uh, the WMA Radar Welfare Organization, based in Rotterdam, has withdrawn its support for the uh, tour. Uh, and uh, a clearly met. While the third assault brigade insists on sharing the raw truth about their services within the brigade, the Kremlin maintains that the tour is evidence of Kiev's efforts to propagate neo-Nazi beliefs. Uh, it's fascinating how historical ideologies can re-emerge and shape contemporary politics. With that said, thanks for exploring this topic with me and stay vigilant for the resurgence of controversial ideologies in our world.